It's a story the 22 News I team has been covering for more than a year. Prosecutors still aren't using the results of breathalyzers in court after a scandal with the Office of Alcohol Testing. 22 News I team reporter Tamara Sikarzik has a closer look at what's next in the case that could affect tens of thousands of drunk driving convictions. The battle over breathalyzers continues more than a year after the Department of Public Safety found out the machines may not have been properly calibrated. The state stopped using breath tests as evidence in court since then, and the I-team discovered some attorneys are fighting to keep it that way. Defense attorneys are raising new questions over a familiar controversy, the reliability of the Draeger 9510 breathalyzer machines. All we're saying is that this piece of evidence shouldn't be used in court until it's reliable and accurate. Breathalyzer results haven't been used as evidence in court for more than a year now, and attorneys are now asking a judge to keep it that way. The 22 News I team first told you about the legal battle in 2017 after public safety investigators discovered the Office of Alcohol Testing withheld hundreds of documents that proved breathalyzer machines had failed annual inspections and might not have been properly calibrated. Then Secretary of Public Safety Daniel Bennett issued a scathing report. It was clearly a failure at the uh, Office of Alcohol Testing. As a result, the technical leader of the office was fired and the lab was restructured. Prosecutors also agreed not to use evidence from breath tests in cases between 2011 and 2017, potentially overturning thousands of OUI convictions. Now prosecutors and defense attorneys are arguing over when they'll be able to use breath tests as evidence again. Prosecutors want it to happen immediately, but Springfield defense attorney Joseph Bernard told the I-team he wants the lab to gain full accreditation first. What I'm arguing for the, to the judge is that you can't permit breath tests to come in around the state until there is an independent audit and accreditation from um, an independent company. The Office of Alcohol Testing is the only part of the state crime lab with no accreditation. They plan to apply in February, but the I-team discovered it's a lengthy process. It could take as long as three years or maybe a year and a half. It's an extensive process with an auditor coming into the lab and examining documents and interviewing people. If it takes up to three years to get accreditation, in the meantime, is there any way to make sure that people aren't getting OUIs or will they just be getting away with it? No, and that's what everyone needs to realize. There is another mechanism to prove an, an OUI case in Massachusetts. Attorney Bernard told the I team he wants the courts to rely on field sobriety tests and police observations of defendants until the lab gains accreditation. A Suffolk Superior Court judge could make a decision on this case as early as next month. Without accreditation, attorney Bernard said there's no way to prove the office's protocol to calibrate breathalyzers is accurate, but the Suffolk DA's office argues the state has already tested and cleared the machines. They said the breathalyzers issues were over lab personnel hiding results, not the machines themselves. I'm Tamara Sikarzik working for you with the 22 News I team.